Hey, you guys, real quick, thank you for checking out today's snippet of an episode of Pretty Pert and Potent, my new podcast, my new baby that I've been working on for the last few weeks. Um, again, it's important that y'all engage. If y'all don't engage, I'm not going to keep doing this, but I am going to give it a couple months, like I said in my TikTok video, and just allow the podcast to, you know, do a few, you know, numbers, see what happens. But... Real quick, I am not going to be posting a preview of episode three. Episode three is titled, I Hate Being Black. It is a rant that deserves all of the nuance and isms and details of my conclusion to how I view blackness in the current day and climate, socially speaking, not just my image. You know, I have no problems with me being a black man or my identity, but I'm speaking more so in terms of my community, and I'm acknowledging and addressing stuff that we don't necessarily like to talk about in that rant, and I just couldn't condense that down to five minutes of a preview. So I will not be posting a preview of episode three. Um, I also know how people are. I'll post that. They won't even listen to it, and then they're going to go on and run off with their you know, theories and stuff. I don't have time for that. So if you want to hear my rant about how I view blackness in a current day sense, go check out episode three on Anchor. Yeah. With that being said, though, let's go ahead and get to the preview for episode four titled Unpopular Opinions Part Two, where I basically pick up from where I started. If we talking looks, sound hooks, I'm the littest one. Just sent your wifey five a ten. So fresh and fresh and clean. I keep it viewed on that Don Julio. Cause I be eating weed. Hey you guys, welcome back to episode four of Pretty Perp Potent. It's your boy Tyson. We're gonna get right back into where we were standing off with, with the unpopular opinions, Black Edition. Alrighty, so... Part two, to begin, I personally do not think it's black people's job to stop saying niggas so non-blacks won't. Like, again, I feel like as a person of purpose, like, you don't do stuff just because other people, oh shit, let me turn my power strip off. That's what I was saying. You don't do stuff just because other people are doing it. You do it because it's the right thing. <clears throat> and just because the N-word is a sensitive topic, which for why it's sensitive for white and non-black people, I don't fucking know. You're a weird-ass bitch. Go get your own fucking culture. Stop trying to take from ours. Y'all have done enough of that. Thank you. Yeah. At any rate, that's what I was saying, though. It just, for us, you know what I'm saying? I When it comes to the N-word, I, I everybody is a case by case. You know, I even extend a, a, a little bit of grace, as long as done correctly, with the black people who give out the passes. Now, if you're going to give out a pass, you need to let that motherfucker know that, hey, uh, when you're around other black people, this ain't going to fly. You do that around me. But don't do that around other black people. Now, I can't back up the passes because most black people don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, out of respect for your fellow brethren or sister, I I would like you to, if you're going to be giving out passes, let that be the qualifier. Um, Don't be walking up in the McDonald's to my nigga, nigga, this, nigga, that. Because when you get knocked out by one of us, don't expect me to help your ass. Because, hey. That's your one friend who said that was okay. We ain't all your fucking friend. Child. My black friend allows me to see it. <laughs> and now you have a black eye because your black friend didn't tell you right. From wrong. Mm-hmm. So at any rate, um, yeah, that's my thing about the N-word. Um, it's not our job to stop saying it. And Let's be very realistic. If black people stopped saying it, y'all would still say it. So, plenty of other things we stopped doing that y'all still do. Um, yeah. So, that's just a stupid argument for me. Um, and I hate the black people that play into that argument. Like, it's, it's corny enough and I expect it. 
hearing from hearing it from non-black people because they're being excluded. And naturally, when you're being excluded from something, nobody likes the feeling of exclusion. And especially with the way that we as black people, which I feel we've been conditioned to be open as we are, but we're so open to, oh, yeah, everybody can come. And, you know, we're always trying to be open and, you know, open minded to everyone else but our own. And we've been like I said, we've been conditioned to be that way. So and with that conditioning, we've done that and other races have felt comfortable to, you know what I'm saying, over represent us in media or whatever, whatever the situation may be, overstepping their boundaries uh, as a quote unquote ally, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever the situation may be, we've allowed that behavior. But this generation, I think of black people coming up, we ain't going for that. I would at least say collectively. A lot of us are a lot more, you know, onto this shit. We calling stuff out. We calling our own selves out. So, you know what I'm saying? We just on the wave of accountability. And I do like that. Excuse me. For us. Um, but at any rate, as black people. At any rate, on to my next unpopular opinion. Fuck those saving African commercials. It does nothing but reinforces the white savior stereotype like Christianity. Like, y'all, when I tell y'all, I, I'm, I'm a Sagittarius. I'm petty as fuck. I literally, and I get a kick out of this. I, when I go around in public, I be saying, um, yeah, they're starving Russians and Polands and whatever else ethnicities that y'all be thinking about when you think of white people, that's, that's what I be saying to counteract that fucking save for a dollar a day you can save an african bullshit that shit gets on my fucking nerves there are broke children impoverished children everywhere in the world not just in africa but yeah that's my way of coping with that so you know that's how i be um i be doing that and i be doing it right in front of white people they faces i be crying laughing you could take these jokes we took we took whippings we took lashes on our back. Um, we took being spit on. Y'all can take a little joke. You'll be okay. <clears throat> um, at any rate, my next unpopular opinion, I believe Zaya Wade deserves better. Like, in terms of our community and how we talk about her, but also in terms of her parents. Like, at the end of the day, I hate that when it comes to the LGBTQ plus community, you can't say certain things without people just saying, hate, hate, hate. And hey, I'm black. I get it. I'm black. I get it. You're marginalized. So you're used to being attacked. But every specific disagreement or view that differs from the collective of whichever part of the LGBTQ plus community is not uh, it is not deemed or necessary to be a fight of oh well just f you and if it basically y'all like deduce it down to saying just say you're anti whatever and go like it, it, and every single situation is not a moment of that you know what i'm saying i personally don't think that and i i approach things i'm black first so i'm gonna approach things from a black mindset this community is barely kind to black LGBs so T is a whole nother thing and introducing that to this community at such a young age to me that is more so troublesome than even the choice to go through with allowing him to identify with how he fucking identifies you know what I'm saying and I also don't I personally also attach things from how I view celebrity to be I don't think all of that shit is our business I'm just being fucking honest I'm glad that he has black parents who are accepting of him. And I'm hoping that this is for him and not, you know, for other nefarious reasons. But I'm happy he has that. I definitely am as a non-heteronormative black man that was growing up and felt the differences in treatment that I received for not being perceived as what a black man should be. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm thankful that they weren't cold towards him like that. But it, it, it does give post it up you know what i'm saying and it gives like why is this so in our face and i'm not saying this is entrenched um you know what i'm saying representation i'm just saying him as a child him as a child 
You know what I'm saying? I care about kids. You know what I'm saying? I personally don't think when I look back at even some of the shows that we watched growing up at certain ages, we should not have been watching Kissing and like Nickelodeon Disney Channel. I can say that shit. Now, can I go back and unwatch the shit? No, I can't. But I can say that some of the shit that we were watching in those kids shows, in those Disney shows, we should not have been watching that shit. Hell, some of us was watching Adult Family when we was younger. Um, We should not have been watching that. Adult Family? Is it Adult Family? Adult, adult, whatever the fuck it is on Cartoon Network at midnight, child. Shit, I'm high as hell. So at any rate, that's what I was saying. Uh, yeah, that's my thought on Zaya. My next unpopular opinion: Black outrage is the new marketing strategy. And what works about black outrage is black people are too forgiving, so we're always gonna come back. I think that these companies, whether it's H&M, Waffle House, whether it's um, Gucci, Louis, any of the designers who have made it known for years that they do not like our black asses yet, we still rap about them. We still, and don't get me wrong, I've definitely name dropped some designer brands that I've owned in my songs, but I don't. You know, like, it's not, like, first of all, I make it an effort to mention black-owned brands as well, and it's not, like, a worshipping thing with, you know what I'm saying, with what I'm saying. Like, it's just, you know, oh, I got the this, you know what I'm saying, or, I, I, like, I don't know. I think we just, we take it to a new extreme, and I get it. We, we as black people, we've been labor poor and impoverished so the latching on to designer labels and luxury luxurious items it makes us feel good it takes us away from that stereotype i get that form of escapism but at the end of the day some of us just od with it and too much designer is a bad thing too and you just throwing it all to get like even the way we thought like all I'm going to say is you can tell the difference when somebody is wealthy and when they rich and that's all I'm going to say But yeah, black people have proven time and time again that we are not amongst a group of respectable consumers. You can stomp on us, spit in our face, throw trash at us, and we will still come back to your business within one to two months after the outrage has died out. And that's me being generous. And for any black person that's saying, oh, well, you're saying it, so now they... No, they... People... When these commercials come out and they do these anti-black things, they do these racist things, they know what they're doing. These companies have analytics ran on this shit. They know their demographics. They know who they are going to appeal to most and least. White people can afford to throw shots at us via H&M because they know that collectively white people ain't gonna stop shopping there because they said that we the coolest monkeys in the jungle and they know that our black asses ain't gonna stop shopping there either so you know what I'm saying we can't even give up the bare minimum of stuff but y'all got the nerve to walk around some of some we are not our ancestors you right bitch you not you couldn't give up shit bitch and then when you had a self-respecting black person than me, like be like, oh no, I don't eat there. I don't support that because X, Y, and Z. I'm looked at like I'm crazy for having self-respect. Hmm. Interesting. That's very reflective of our community. At any rate, and that's just me being a real, like, that's just me keeping it real. I don't know how else to say it. Um my next unpopular opinion, but I think this is probably pretty popular. I think black people definitely need to do a better job of supporting each other. Hey, you guys, if you would like to hear the rest of this podcast, please check me out on Anchor.fm, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all other podcasting platforms. Thank you for listening.